Hi guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? Divine Masculine. Uh, how are you? So a Divine Masculine actually won uh, the free deck of cards. Uh, Trent Wriggler. So if you wanted to contact me, I'll be sending an email through Patreon. Um, and if the prize isn't claimed by, I guess, Friday, then uh, we'll draw again. All right, so I think what we'll do is an elemental reading, a split elemental, uh, and I'll do it like I did before. I'll just keep pulling the cards until all the suits are filled. Okay, so let's begin. So if you wanted to order my cards, you can reach me at sherry shock at hotmail.com. All right, so beginning with, okay, third eye chakra. So I'm gonna put the chakra cards at the top here. So the masculine, so this is gonna be a uh, reading for April the 2nd until the 11th. So the, the masculine is gonna be really turning within, looking for answers, um, looking to the future, looking to the past, looking at his behaviors, looking at repetitive you know, behaviors. So he's trying to make decisions, which is great energy to be in. Okay, what else have we got here? Three of Swords. So Three of Swords is going to be in his mental space. The Five of Pentacles is in his physical space. More Swords, Seven of Swords. There's, um, in the Twin Flame reading, there's this feeling of somebody being fake around him, hurting him, a lot of chaos. So the Seven of Swords is deception, not being able to trust. Fear, free spirit in the spiritual position. Ten of Swords. Karmic Justice. Ace of Swords. So we got um, four Elevens here. The King of Pentacles and the King of Love and in the Soul, the Ten of Cups. All right, so the bottom of the deck is Two of Cups, Spiritual Union. So the overall energy that the masculine is going to be in is feeling connected to the twin flame, his twin flame, feeling love in his heart. Um, feeling united, um, bonding, um, you know, meeting your, your true twin flame. And there's a sense that he's being guided by his intuition. Okay, so let's address all this mental activity here. <clears throat> so the Three of Swords is something happened and it broke his heart. He also had the five of cups there. So something tragic, you know, and it's really been playing out in a negative way in his life. Um, he feels like he's been deceived and he's not taking it anymore. With the Ten of Swords, it's cutting away that deception, fake people, broken heart, ending it once and for all. And then after that, he gets karmic justice, absolutely beautiful. You know, all that negativity is, is swept away, um, and he feels that justice has been served. And then how beautiful is we get that Ace of Swords, which is mental clarity, right? We got the completion with the Ten uh, to the Ace of Swords, which is a new beginning. So completion and a new beginning with that karmic energy in the center, it's beautiful. Wow. Wow. You know, we'll get the three, the seven, the ten, so beautiful progression, the eleven, and then a new start again with the ace. 
and again, that goes along with the Twin Flame reading, there is a resolution or clarity that comes. So spiritually, he is the free spirit, the page of, of wands, fire. So, with you know, as a final outcome in the Twin Flame reading, he had the Two of Wands, so there's a, an expansion, um, an openness there, and, and that's what's being felt spiritually. There's this excited energy of um, something else out there for him. And his soul is the Ten of Cups, so that's that happily ever after, peace, harmony, everyone's getting along. So that's what he wants, the twin flame connection. He, he's you know, feeling that peace and harmony within himself because um, he had that temperance card as well. So all that ne he's dealing with that negativity but with love in his heart. Okay, and so spiritually he's free. He's you know, building up this powerful energy within him to start a new adventure. And remember in the Twin Flame reading at the heart was a honeymoon card. So in the physical reality, he's coming in as the king, the Father Earth, the King of Pentacles. But also with the Five of Pentacles, which is feeling alone. So there was an energy of him being the, the teacher, being, you know, this wise soul that can give fatherly advice he's looking after his family i felt that you know kids might be an issue there as well so even though there might be some financial hardship um he comes out of it very successful and very grounded in the ment i mean the emotional space we have the king of cups so we got two kings here he's the ruler very powerful uh, position with the, the two king court cards here in the reading. So it's showing that he's getting control of his emotions and his, his mental state. Uh, there is a balance there, but he's also ruled by the heart as well, and you can see that with the two of cups and the ten of cups. So emotionally, he, he's feeling deep emotions. He's trying to heal connections um, he may be the healer as well, offering advice, um, but yeah, in the physical and emotional, there's a definite balance there. There's an excitement spiritually, um, there could be creative energy as well, in order to move through this uh, sword action here. Um, even though his heart's been broken, he still has so much love in his life and he's just cutting away negative people. He may feel alone in the 3D reality, but he knows he can't go back to whatever that was. It's time to move on. All right, so I think I'll use Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels for the final message from the universe. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. All right. So it says, this card urges you to take the initiative in your love life. That may mean contacting someone to whom you're attracted to and asking the person on a date. That's very interesting because in the Twin Flame reading, um, he got a, the attraction card coupled with the throat chakra communication. So that message of him desiring to reach out and connect, um, express his emotions are very strong. Uh, so it says, um, it could also mean sending flowers, texts, a gift to your beloved. As you express romance, these feelings pour through you. You actually become the biggest beneficiary of your romantic displays as you enjoy how it makes you feel to an even greater degree. The more you give love, the more you experience it. Of course, do make sure that you're also open to receiving the love that comes to you from God and the angels and other people.
very beautiful yeah so there's definite openness here a desire to commute to connect and communicate and express his emotions and you're being encouraged to do that okay so I do hope this helped guys uh, please comment let me know if you're resonating with the reading uh, and don't forget to subscribe all right cheers